Today, I heard these words. Pray for the souls that they do not, that they be not afraid to approach the tribunal of my mercy. Do not grow weary of praying for sinners. You know what a burden their souls are to their heart. Relieve my deadly sorrow, dispense my mercy. Diary 975. Today at benediction, I saw Jesus, and he spoke these words to me. Be obedient to your director in everything. His word is my will. Be certain in the depth of your soul that it is I who am speaking through his lips and I desire that you reveal the state of your soul to him with the same simplicity and candor as you have with me. i say it again. My daughter, know that his words, my will for you. Diary 979. Today I saw the Lord in great beauty, and he said to me, My loving host, Pray for priest, especially during this time of harvest. My heart is pleased for you, and for your sake I am blessing the earth. Diary 980. As regards holy confession, I shall choose what costs and humiliates me most. Sometimes a trifle costs more than something greater. I will call to mind the passion of Jesus at each confession to arouse my heart to contrition. In so far as possible, with the grace of God, I will always practice perfect contrition. I will devote more time to this contrition. Before I approach the confessional, I shall first enter the open and most merciful heart of the Savior. When I leave the confessional, I shall rouse in my soul great gratitude to the Holy Trinity for this wonderful and inconceivable miracle of mercy that is wrought in my soul. And the more miserable my soul is, the more I feel the ocean of God's mercy engulfing me and giving me strength and great power. Diary 225. Today I heard these words. My daughter, be always like a little child toward those who represent me. Otherwise, you will not benefit from the graces I bestow upon you through them. Diary 1260. The Lord Jesus greatly protects his representatives on earth. How closely he is united with them. And he orders me to give priority to their opinion over his. I have come to know the great intimacy which exists between Jesus and the priest. Jesus defends whatever the priest says and often complies with his wishes and sometimes makes his own relationship with a soul depend on the priest's advice. O oh, Jesus, through a special grace, I have come to know very clearly to what extent you have shared your power and mystery with them, more so than with the angels. I rejoice in this, for it is all for my good. Diary 1240. Heavenly Father, grant that our priests be strengthened and healed by the power of the Eucharist they celebrate. May the word they proclaim give them courage and wisdom. We pray that all those whom they seek to serve may see in them the love and care of Jesus, our eternal high priest who is Lord forever and ever. Amen.
merciful Lord. You told St. Faustina in a revelation that we are to show mercy to our neighbors always and everywhere and we must not shrink away from it or try to excuse or absolve ourselves from it. You gave us three degrees in order to exercise this mercy. The first by deed, the second by word, and the third by prayer. Most merciful Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, we humbly come before the throne of mercy and bring before your merciful heart the souls of the sick and those that are dying in this hour. May they escape the fires of hell, for they are in most need of your mercy during this most crucial time. Eternal Father, we offer you the Divine Mercy Chaplet as an act of spiritual mercy for these souls and for the good intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for Father Murphy, whom you have chosen to lead our parish according to your divine purpose. Keep him holy and keep him safe for eternal life. Father God, we continue to pray for the conversion of Russia and for Ukraine and its people. And we ask for an end to the Russian aggression on that country and an end to war. We pray for those souls and those on our own border. We appeal to your merciful heart and ask that you bring peace to those poor countries and to the world, peace that only you can bring. And we thank you, God, of fathomless mercy for allowing us to give relief and help to the sick and the dying by means of this chaplet. Merciful Lord, we bring Dot Cormier, Katie Pitsley, Joseph Rodriguez, Tim Keating, Brian Caldera, and the souls from the victim souls from the earthquake in Turkey and Syria and the personal intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. Saint Faustina, pray with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail, Mary full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity. Mercy on us and on the whole world. 
the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Oh, boy. 
Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen.
the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be a holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen.